Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the final stream on season 18 for One Hub Racing. My name is Jess, and joining me for one final time, it was meant to be one final time on Friday, but uh, we can forget about that. It's my, it was my commentary partner for this season, Matt, also known as Indecisive Mackie. How are you doing tonight? I'm excited to uh, round the season up, and uh, it's an honour to be here, so thanks for having me, and uh, hope everyone out there is okay. Yeah, it's sunny for most of you, hopefully. Hopefully the weather's good. If not, hopefully we'll be able to cheer you up for the rest of the evening. So last Friday was the last race of season 18 around Brazil. Only four tiers took part um, on their final races on Friday, but that's still left with some fantastic action. Thank you to everyone for making it our biggest season ever. 18 seasons we had five tiers this season we had an extra tier the points tier to be precise 100 drivers took part um throughout well, not throughout the whole season but throughout most of the season we had 16 different commentators five drivers champions five constructors championships and our streets have been good better than ever as well we've had uh 120 twitch followers as well 602 youtube subscribers and 1152 Twitter followers. We couldn't do this without your help, so thank you very much. And uh, with your first ever season as uh, the role of management, how have you found it from both a driver's perspective and uh, as an admin perspective? Because you must have had a lot of fun juggling both of those at the same time. <laughs> yeah, it's it's very, very hectic on race day. And uh, I found it hard at the beginning because obviously I was used to the quarter past six start, not the 6pm start for Prospect here. But once I got my head around it, it was pretty good and all the uh the um interviews that i prepare and all the media stuff for the drivers to fill in that i had an absolute blast doing that and it was always good to lodge a little fire in some of them and uh the rivalries was a particular highlight and that i'm pretty proud of so yeah it was a great first season for me and hope next season's even better Yes, to be honest, the rivalries, I think, were my favourite touch of the season as well. I think it spiced up quite a few people. There were a few people that didn't like it that much, but that made it even more exciting as well. And it provided a bit more drama on the streams as well and a lot more talking points for our commentators to talk about. So uh, that, was, that, that was very, very good as well. And we started off in Canada and we finished off in Brazil as well. That meant all the tracks in the game cycle we actually visited if it was either once twice or in the case of austria and brazil three times so i guess in austria and brazil was a uh, quite popular as well there were quite a few people that got their best results um in one hub history this season as well some people had their best season ever some people had their worst season ever and it's how you come back from it so uh yes i think now the drives are going to have a nice long break from the season and the results are actually final as well because no steward reports for the final round of the season as well that says something that the the stewards i think are very very pleased about so thank you very much to all the drivers that raced that um didn't submit any stewards reports because that makes the stewards life a lot easier this weekend yeah absolutely fantastic to hear that there was no instance uh, reported and that's always what you want to have obviously sometimes incidents happen but hopefully it's to a minimum Yes. Now, we're going to be revealing the champions. I know most of you know them already. There's quite a few that we haven't announced yet, but we'll go through that in a second. So we'll, we'll start with uh, the driver's champion from Prospect, and that was Kingen, who he was crowned in Russia, and a well-deserving champion of that. As actually, he was your uh, former teammate as well, your first teammate in season 15, I believe. Was that right? Yeah, it's uh, going back a while back to there. I drive in the Williams for a season and uh, it's good to know that uh, hopefully some of his magic rubs off on me uh, next season and possibly <laughs> beyond that. But, you know, it's it's an absolute honour and a pleasure to see him drive so well this season and improve his racecraft because that was what laid down before. He was quick but always got two penalties to challenge. So he's sorted that out and it's well-deserved champion. Yeah, I agree as well. As someone that I wasn't actually expecting to be crowned the champion as well, I thought it was going to be Astro or Liam, but uh, Astro moved over to points and Liam's pressure got to him a little bit, but he still managed to pick up a, uh, a third place trophy, which to be fair is um, not too shabby at all. Jake actually fin ended up finishing second. And a driver that I was not expecting to be there, he was actually expecting to be near the bottom near where I was, so... Great job that he actually gets some um, trophies for one half racing. And Kingen also gets another trophy as well because he also won the constructors. So, And uh, due to the fact that obviously his teammate joined um, 
I think it was round eight. He, he's not eligible for a trophy, only Kingen is. So Kingen is the only one in prospect to win two trophies. So uh, well done to him. Points drivers, that was crowned on Friday. And that was ERT Thomas, the Belgium, who uh, is the points tier champion after kill playing, unfortunately crashed um, in the final corner on the right-hand side. And that's uh, ultimately what handed Thomas to the champion. And he, he was consistent all season as well. And uh, it's great to see one of the drivers from ERT, of course, one of our sponsors at One Hat Racing. And now our sponsor in the going gets tougher war, which we'll be uh, talking about a, a little bit later on. But I'm sure the ERT guys will be very happy that they have at least one champion. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they'll be happy with at least one, but I'm pretty sure... It won't be the last one, so congrats to um, congrats to Thomas there for winning it in the final round. But congratulations to uh, the contenders that didn't quite make it on the final day. Yeah, that was Kilplane that retired, unfortunately. But Kilplane, another surprise, who was a bit mid midfield driver at the start of the season, and he really picked up to be one of the championship contenders early on. So. Well done to him and uh, uh, for getting second anyway, and also well done to Jordan as well for getting third position in in the in the standings as well. So that's great to see that he'll be picking up a trophy. I, I, I hope he didn't get a ready up penalty. I hope he did not. I we will need to double check that because there's still readying up penalties and Taz infringements to check before Tuesday. So that's still provisional in that regard. Constructors, they, Thomas has done the double along with his teammate Dexter. And it's a second season in a row where the Tia Minty is commentated on. Mercedes won the drivers and the constructors. So, uh, And uh, it's nice to see Dexter coming home with a trophy once uh, this time. And uh, he, Dexter's performed a lot better this season. And that's what ultimately helped the Mercedes win the constructors title. Yeah, definitely. There's uh, shades of uh, Luke commentating on Mercedes dominance. And now it's obviously extended down to the points tier. So congrats to... Yeah, but yeah, it's it's amazing to see Dexter finally getting something that he maybe deserved quite a while ago, but he's just never had the luck. But this year he was able to do his thing and he gets a trophy out of it. So congrats to him and the Mercedes team. OK, we move over to Podium, which was also crowned on Friday. And, well, to be honest, Casper needed to just turn up and get some decent, well, any points for him to be crowned champion. But he still got champion anyway. Casper won the... Casper, didn't win the race that time. It was actually Colin who won the race, but he actually uh, was a champion for the podium test. So congratulations to Casper as well. The one that was challenging the likes of Colin and JM69 all the way as well. And it was like a free car fight. It was unfortunate for Colin to be knocked out of contention and after France, but at least Colin still gets a trophy as well. Nice to see a former commentator of like the likes of Johannes and the likes of Jake who are able to get out of the commentary box, get into the racing seat and pick up a trophy in the end in terms of the drivers. So uh, that's great to see that uh, even if you are a commentator um, in general, you can actually do well in, in the racing seat. But let's hope uh, it can rub off me and you, Matt, next season. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, hopefully it starts to rub off on me soon, and especially you who, uh, you know, you do your thing and you keep going around, which is good to think, and hopefully the uh, commentator's luck is spread out a little bit more. But, uh, yeah, it's great job from some of the former and current commentators on the track. Very good job. Well, well done as well. And Casper also did the double with his... Uh... Uh, teammate as well, which I need to actually try and find. There we go. As uh, Neon and Casper won the constructors for racing points, a big well done to them as well. Neon also got some good, got some good results for the team, and that's what ultimately led them to be racing point constructors champions. Now we're moving on to the uh, position uh, tier uh, drivers champion, which we had the privilege of crowning on Friday. We didn't think we were going to, but both the commentators weren't in. So uh, um, I asked Nick, oh, could we both commentate position? And he said, yes. So there we go. And it was Dane Star, another ERT driver that won the driver's championship, being consistent towards the end there as well. Nice to see him have another title on the, under his belt as well in terms of Mercedes. Didn't quite do the double, I don't think, in terms of constructors, but at least he actually has the driver's champion to his name as well. He was in the commentator's box last season as well, but he is not really known as a commentator. He's known as a driver. So uh, it's great to see him get back on form. So I was a bit worried that he wasn't going to be on form when he came back after a season off, but uh, uh, he actually showed that he can do it as well. And uh, he fell on the footsteps of Janlon and Thomas, who also won for Mercedes as well. It's just a 
an ongoing trend at the moment. It always seems to be, I think apart from uh, Prospect and Podium, it seems to be Mercedes drivers winning uh, drivers' titles. Is that, is that, is, is that, that, that's a good thing. So obviously the head of teams must be doing the right thing, picking the right drivers for the right teams. Yeah, it's definitely consistency across the uh, Mercedes brand there. And uh, another, as you say, another ERT driver getting uh, sort of silverware or maybe goldware. But yeah, it, it's <laughs> it's amazing to see the consistency that has happened. And yet another former commentator, as you mentioned. So I'm beginning to think maybe next season's our time, Jess. Yeah, and uh, also Storm as well, who I know is in the chat. Hello, Storm. How are you doing? Um, maybe it could be Storm's time as well, because I know Storm got a podium P2, his best result last time out. So... Maybe a challenger contender next season. Who knows? If I jinx you for next season, I do apologise, Storm, if you're watching. Um, constructors was not Mercedes. It was Ferrari, Scorpion and Chris, who did a, a, a phenomenal job. Chris actually got P2 in the driver's standings, who actually got the win last time out in uh, Brazil as well. So well done to him. And uh, Scorpion actually got fourth, I believe, in the driver's and. Can't remember who got third. Uh, it's, it's been a while since we commented. It, it's been tough. I should have done my research, but well done to Ferrari there for the constructors. The only tier to have Ferrari win the constructors in, in, in the other tiers. Ferrari did not perform quite so well, but uh, I wonder if it will rub off against the other tiers for next season. Anyway, driver's champion for Pinnacle, which again we crowned, which was Netsky. And my, oh my, he had a great drive in France to take that crown and he actually won the race as well. But Netsky... It was redemption season for him, wasn't it? He didn't quite win the championship last season with Lakitu. It went down to the final round in Japan last season. This season, it went down to the penultimate round. And I think Netsky had the upper hand in pretty much all the races. This I think it was only the first round where he literally had um, a bit of an off. But all the other rounds, he did absolutely fantastic. Yeah, uh, pretty much one of the most consistent drivers out there. And it was, it was good to see. It, it mirrored... Uh, the previous season for a bit he was always getting pole position but in the end the previous season he didn't quite win but this season he went one better and he got the drivers championship which he so solely deserves yeah indeed and he didn't do the the double because if he went down to the final round and if pinnacle raced in brazil then mercedes may have taken it but because obviously pinnacle didn't have enough numbers that meant Renault were the Constructors' champions with Tomar and Calzo. Tomar ended up finishing second in the driver's standings, which, to be fair, coming from position last season, he took two wins this season. I was not expecting him to be up there um, challenging for wins and podiums in the in the pinnacle tier. So, uh, And he actually beat Josh as well, the position tier champion for last season. So it just shows that a lot of people are actually improving that you weren't expecting. So be well done to Tomar and well done to Calzo. Yeah, that, that's always the beauty of uh, this league. You have short seasons and it's plenty of time to mentally reset. And if you start off quite well, then maybe the momentum is going to be with you and you'll find something within you to keep on competing. But congratulations to Renault, which from mid-season looked like the team to beat. And so it proved to be. OK, so that is the champions we obviously know. So we've done all the champions we know. Now it's time for the awards that we don't know. And we're not doing the wheels just yet. We've still got two more well, technically champ, well, three technically champions to announce before we go on to the free wheel. So first of all, we'll start off, we'll keep it driver related for now. So we'll move on to the the 3M Sim Gloves uh, um, awards for the most poles and the most fastest laps. So every driver uh, had a chance of winning this as well. So if you had the most poles and most fastest laps, um, the one with the most poles will win a pair of 3, 3M Sim Racing Gloves. And the one who had the most fastest lap will win a free at MCM Racing Gloves. And since Pinnacle did not race round nine, this goes all the way to round nine. So round 10 does not count in terms of polls, unfortunately. But there we go. So, Matt, I'll hand it over to you to announce the the winners of those uh, two pairs in Racing Gloves. There's two winners, actually. So let's see who they are. Yeah, it's good that it was able to be spread out between two different drivers. Um, one for the fastest laps which i'll do first which will please white fountain as he's won the the competition there for the uh, most fastest laps and the most pole positions in the season is netsky so he wins a, another thing <laughs> yeah he's got two awards <laughs> which is a uh, great mm. to see i think i think he's not in any of the other wheels i don't think as far as i'm aware so uh um that that's always uh awards tonight so uh big congratulations to uh 
both of you and uh, White Fountain has won something. So uh, that's great to see. So uh, yeah, um, a few people are asking how many polls did Netsky get? I think it was six, I believe. Yeah, it was six. I, 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 um, or was it the most fastest laps White Fountain got six? I don't know. I will, I will check the uh, spreadsheet very, very quickly because I know Dane Star wants to know. So um, I'll have a look. I think it was six. Yes, it was six. Thomas did get six in the fight in overall, but it was the final round um, in round 10, and we only counted it to round nine because obviously Pinnacle did less races. So um, if it was, uh, if Pinnacle raced on Friday, then it would have been, I think, up to the wheel to decide who would win there. But uh, that's what happened there. So uh, there we go. So uh, well done to Netsky and well done to White Fountain. I'm trying to see you got uh, how many fastest laps White Fountain got. He got six as well. So. Uh, there we go. Big uh, six seems to be the magic number. <laughs> yep, indeed it does. But um, it's no easy thing to do consistently in racing and uh, qualifying as well. So, congrats, Nesky, for that with the consistency he's shown the dominance across the tier. And White Fountain always had something up his sleeve and always was able to fight for something. So, that was good to see as well. Okay, final. Uh, championship crowning before we move on to the wheels because I know some my majority of you are here for the wheels I don't lie don't lie <laughs> I, I, to be honest I'm there for the wheels as well because that's the only chance I actually get to win anything um, I probably <laughs> won't but there we go um, so uh, we'll move on to the commentators championship which has been gone on for I think a full season now which is crazy I have to say and uh, I'm very, very happy to announce that we're not just going to be crowning, obviously, the champion. Second and third place will be uh, crowning, will be crowned today as well. They get um, some uh, tr uh, trophies and uh, an Amazon or PSN gift card. It's £15 for second place and £5 for third place as well. So uh, they, at least they get something as well. So uh, there we go. But to be fair... I'm going to feel bad for whoever finished in fourth in the Commentators Championship because they only missed out by 0.02 of a rating. So, but there we go. That's just put it into perspective. So, uh, there we go. Um, I'm, going to, I'm going to announce it um, from third to first. And before before we uh, announce it, thanks to all the commentators this season for putting in one some great effort. I had to find reserves every week, so there was some stress put on me, but. For the ones that did commentate, thank you so much for all your efforts. The quality of the streams have been incredible and I think I can agree. Hopefully the drivers and the management can agree as well that the commentators did absolutely fantastic. So thanks to all your hard work there and all the reserves as well for putting in the effort. So I will reveal who is where. So um, I won't reveal every single one because I will be here all day. In third place... Um, by uh, 0 0.001 to second, which was very, very close, actually. He could have got second on this day, but he got third. In third place, who commentated on the points tier this season, is Jamie. So well done to Jamie there. He gets £5 uh, PSN or Amazon gift voucher. He can decide on which uh, voucher he gets. And um, he also gets a third place trophy. So well done to Jamie. Um, in second position... I don't know why he's in, he's in second place, to be honest. I don't think he should be there. Only joking is my co-commentator, Indecisive, who finished in second. Well done to you. And whilst you're here, how do you feel? I mean, you're right. Uh, I shouldn't be in second. I should be in first. But that's next season. <laughs> um, but no, it's honestly, it's it's fantastic to have been a part of this uh, championship and in this league. It's it's so good to, to learn from the best, some of the the best in the business and it's been an absolute pleasure every race and thank you for giving me the opportunity and uh yeah you've been commentating for quite a bit actually as well um i think this is your third season am i right yeah it is yeah third season wow so uh who knows you may be there going for a fourth season oh, just kidding we will have you for a fourth season uh, because you were so great but anyway drum roll for first place you could probably guess who it is um I did say at the start of the season, we're going to have a new champion. It's all going to be good. But this this commentator actually did 
or the amount of races required as a reserve driver to actually win the championship. So uh, I could not give it to this person um, because he's a uh, perfect all race. No, it's not me, Matt. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I did commentate for eight races, but uh, I unfortunately I was not allowed to uh, be part of the championship because otherwise it would be, be unfair. So uh, there we go. Um, but uh, the winner, I actually need to find the GIF if I can find it. There we go. The winner, surprise, surprise, is Mr. Luke Etheridge. He wins the f fourth one in the row. I don't think many people have done that, but uh, well, well, well done to him. He, I think he commentated all most, I think, five or six of the podium tier this season. And uh, he, um, I think he, he's uh, well deserved as well. And uh, can he just uh, reserve less next season and let someone else actually have a chance? Any joke. Well, uh, I would be on the commentators, really, but no, he's he's been consistent since he started here, and he's only got better, gotten better every season. And commentating with him for the last two seasons before this one was always a pleasure. And I think it's just incredible, incredible that uh, he's consistent all the time. And I think it's automatically just brilliant to see, but. Yeah, it's been a great season commentating wise in across all tiers as well. Yeah, but those are the standings for those of you that don't know. Um, for those of you that are wondering, they get marked for certain criteria as well every week, and it shows that majority of these commentators get better and better each week. So uh, thank you very much to all the commentators. Without you, there will be no stream, of course. So uh, and uh, we had uh, fifteen commentators in the. In the who actually commentated this season, which I had to say is absolutely brilliant. So, thank, thank, thank you very much to them as well. And uh, obviously, thanks to our full time commentators, obviously, Carol, who just missed out on a trophy, but I don't think he feels too bad about it. Um, and uh, uh, thanks to Evil Dragon as well, Pete, Risky, Nooney, Lenny, Curtis, um, Red Matt, Liam, Tommy did the first couple of races as well, the pre season. Bryn and Alex, so thank you very much for those. So I think I think there's a lot of things that the drivers will be waiting for now. It is the this it's the wheel. The wheel the wheels are coming back, lads. But we got not just one, but three. So uh, the first one will keep it drivers themed this time. It is the ERT Going Get Tough Award, which I have to say it's a good award by Elite Racing Team. And uh, Matt, do you, cause since you are head of media and you know a lot more about this award, uh, would you like to tell us how people uh, would have been eligible for this award? Yeah, of course, I would be delighted to do that. Um, so to, base, to be eligible for the ERT Going Your Stuff Award, the drivers would have to attend all races and complete all their media obligations. So that would be pre and post race um interviews plus any other additional drivers press conferences or rivalries that uh, they were called up for and those that completed everyone will be on the wheel and who the wheel chooses will win the uh win the prize uh there'll be actually two winners two winners of the going gets tough award uh, uh we, we were going bigger, folks, every time. So uh, we had to get rid of, uh, I think it was about four people from the top three because they finished uh, inside the top three. They weren't allowed to uh, be eligible for that as well. So that's another thing to mention. You have to be outside the top three as well. So um, I'm going to... Uh, there's no drivers from the pinnacle tier, which is unfortunate, but I think we have every other tier being represented. So um, from position... We have um, our race, our, our Lee Gona, Nick, and also Kieran as well. And uh, in um, podium, we have Rich in uh, and Cam as well. Who can forget Cam? In the points, we have Sir Quinneth. And in the prospect, we have myself and Indecisive. Yes, I'm in the wheel this time. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, um, it would be a fix if I uh, if I do win, but I will, I will prove it's uh, not rigged. So... Uh, we will have to wait and see. We're doing it slightly differently um, this year. Well, this season, actually. We've got numbers. We've got numbers this time, which I think is pretty cool. Hopefully, you guys could see it. And uh, all the ones who have got a chance to win this, they've g they're given a number. And the, drive the person who has that number, they get the prize. I used to try to remember what prize is. I think it's 20 or £25 PSN voucher from ERT, I think. I'm not entirely sure. I think Dexter could uh, um, confirm on that, but I'm not entirely sure. But, uh, 
Yes, but there's seven there's seven people that are in this as well. So let's see who the first one is. So hopefully you guys can see the wheel. It's probably going to be a bit of a delay for Matt. So uh, I completely forgot what number I am, which makes things a lot more suspenseful. So we shall see. Anyway, let's uh, reveal our first winner. Number six. Who is number six? I will have a check. No idea. Have a look. Uh, I, I forgot to change. It's not the GT light. Oh, my God. <laughs> did, did you win? Yes. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. That's awkward. <laughs> that is awkward. <laughs> so I won the first one. <laughs> wow. Congrats on your win. <laughs> yeah, I won 25 quid or something like that. melted. It's, it's not rigged. It's not rigged. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, if it's Nick, if it's Nick or Matt, it's going to be even more awkward. Uh, <laughs> right. We one more winner who gets winning. another twenty twenty five quid or twenty quid. I can't remember. Yeah. Well, I mean, like I say, it's not going to be me because the wheel is never my friend. It is you. <laughs> oh well. This is just awkward. <laughs> um. <laughs> I take it all back, Will. Thank you, uh, Universe. It's... Oh, God. Wow. Oh, that, 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 that's weird. That's weird. But, yeah, that is awkward that the host of the wheel actually won. <laughs> right. So that's all I needed to do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we're both from Prospect. Last season, Prospect won from TJW. So, there we go. So, Prospect for the win. Right. I can close Yay. that wheel now. That's all done. Right. And I can close that uh, spreadsheet as well. Right. Next one. Next level racing giveaway. Which is a GT Lite cockpit. Which you can win if you followed us on Twitter. Twitch. Subscribe to us on YouTube. And join our Discord server. And obviously if you made your name obvious to us. Like your uh, username for all those platforms. We, we have entered you into the wheel. And we've had 60 people that are in this wheel most of them are one home racing uh, from the one home racing community but some of them are also from uh, the uh, um well not in the one home racing community but still follow us our, our stream so uh yes thank you very much to everybody and uh, all the management are there are there in there as well but it'll be awkward if the, if the management wins as well but that would be a shame so uh yeah uh, i did set uh the 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 numbers in random order as well, so it should be interesting. Um, and it's a good cockpit as well. Uh, I'm gonna be jealous if some if, if someone else wins it, but uh, just one winner this time. Let's see who wins. Yeah, yeah it is a definitely awesome prize, and I am also gonna be jealous of whoever wins this. Yeah. So uh, good luck to everyone in it. Yeah, um, I just realised I haven't got the wheel um, on, so I need to actually get oh. the wheel. That would help. But that that would that would uh, that would make it a little easier to tell a winner. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a and, lot of uh, numbers. Uh, and also, uh, thank you to uh, ERT for also sponsoring the Going Gets Tough Award as well. Um, um, because they, it was actually Dex that won the first one. So I think it was a good tribute to have it uh, named after ERT. And they're also sponsoring the prizes for that as well. So uh, thanks, Dexter. <laughs> right. Are you ready then? This is the GT Light Cockpit giveaway. Oh, uh, oh, that's weird. I need to actually get the right give a, uh, giveaway open. I think I closed the um, the commentary giveaway, but there we go. I will open that in a second. Right? Are you guys ready? Yes, we are. Let's go. I don't. I literally don't know the numbers. I literally don't know the numbers. And the tension's ramping up here. Twenty-three. So let's see who number twenty-three is. Who was won the GT Light cockpit? I'm going to keep the suspense up for just a little bit longer. Right. Uh, I'm going to get the spreadsheet up as well. So it's not Pizza Parker. I'm very sorry. It's not uh, Tech. It's not Rogue. It's not Minty. It's not Cloudy Balloons. It's not Colin. It's not Corey. It's not Dane Star. It's not Dexter. Not Noah. Samba. Not Evil. It's not Baza. It's not Gaza. It's not Glock. It's not Ali B, it's not Ivor Brim Mike, it's not Jake, it's not Hooky, it's not Jan, it's not me. I kind of Ooh. feel awkward if it wasn't me, uh, if it was me. And 
It's not J. Luke, and it is Johannes that wins the GT Light cockpit, yeah, and he well. finished second place in the podium tier. And I know, I think he does race with a wheel. Hopefully, he does. So uh, that will be a nice uh, treat for uh, JM there. So big congratulations to uh, Johannes there, also former One Hub Racing commentator as well. So con big congratulations. So final award of the night is the commentator's giveaway, which I don't have an image for, unfortunately. Um, basically, we wanted to do something to help not just our One Hub Racing commentators, but all of our commentators uh, who uh, commentate on the F1 2020 game, because without the commentators, they wouldn't have any races to watch back. They, uh, there were 64 people that entered the commentators giveaway that were eligible for it. All they needed to do was basically show us that they've commentated for at least something in the F1 2020 game and uh, have show and uh, um, so basically have done a, a lot of work towards that. And it could be on any platform, Xbox, PC, PlayStation... It didn't have to be. It didn't have to be PlayStation, and it didn't have to be for One Hub as well. So, on behalf of One Hub, thank you to all the commentators from all leagues because without you, um, we, we we wouldn't have any races to watch back. So, uh, thank you very much. And uh, I'm not in this one, so if you'll be pleased to know. Wow. Because <laughs> uh, uh, I did a. I didn't enter, and b. I've already pre-ordered the game. So, yeah, the, the commentators who win this. We'll get an F1 2021 copy of the game for free on a platform of their choice. So, here we go then. I'm going to get the wheel open. So, I'm going to get the wheel open before we start. The final award of that, that as well. Minty forgot to pre-order. Well, you never know. You may be winning this. 64 entries. 64 Z Lane. <laughs> what nice ring to it. Um, so, for the final time, here are the results. Yeah, go look everyone in it. And this is an auto prize as well, as is everything that we've had. So, good luck. It is 16. So, who is, who is number 16? So, it's not Jeb. It's not Kid Kodiak. It's not Jack. It's not Rage. It's not Paul. It's not Joanna. It's not David Carter. It's not Jeb. It's not Strifem. It's not you... Yuri, it's not 256.97, it's not Andy Hard Andy Harley. Right, for number 13. R.A. Rella, congratulations to you. You won yourself a free copy of F1 2021. I believe you're on PC. So, congratulations. Well done. Yep, congrats to... Oh, 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 no, oh, no, it's 16. It's 16. Sorry. Oh. It's 16. Oh my god, it's 16. That's awkward. Oh my god, it's Jacko. <laughs> oh no. It's Jacko. Oh, no. Congratulations. You won yourself a free copy of F1 2021. No. Um, send a private oh, message to awkward. Nick and you will get a free copy awkward. there. <laughs> yeah, so, nah, so, congratulations. yeah, congratulations to Jack. I, I can't believe I said the wrong name. Keep the suspense no. a little bit there. Uh, to, and to be honest, you and Johannes and Jake were very close there. And, uh... Yeah, well, <laughs> it's okay. Right, so that's all the wheels then. That is all the wheels done. So uh, we'll recap the winners. So we've got Netsky that won the 3M Sim Gloves as well as uh, White Fountain as well. So congratulations. Luke Etheridge is the commentator's champion. Uh, myself and Indecisive, I don't know how that has worked out. That is just weird. That I think it's even more weird than when Dexter won the first award um, when we first did it. But there we go. We both won the Going Gets Tough award. Um, and we also had, I need to try and remember, so we had Johannes that won the Next Level Racing GT Light Cockpit. And we've had uh, Jacko that has won the F1 2021 game. So there we go. I don't think Jacko's watching this room. So uh, he's going to probably look to it at his mentions and be like, oh, what's all this? <laughs> <laughs> Why is my Twitter popular now? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, at least he's funded for uh, Jacko Car next season. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you'll love that free promotion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll love that as well. Anyway, that's it for the stream. But before we wrap up, just a quick mention on the sprint race, which will be our final stream on F1 2020, which will be happening on the 2nd and 9th of July around Spa and Brazil. Still six places on the PlayStation if you want to sign up. Um, 
So if you are interested, um, go onto the One Hub Racing website, sign up for that. You don't have to race with us um, to take part. You could just sign up if you want to. And a uh, quick reminder on the rules as well. Two race championships to be held over two consecutive Friday nights after the end of season 18. 25% sprint race, no pit stops unless you want to, of course. Um, and we will ignore the in-game disqualifications. And we don't have to use two different tyre compounds and there'll be no safety car. And then the second race is a 50% race grid set for the 25% sprint race and must start on tyre used in Q3. It is full qualifying session, don't forget, which is interesting. Mandatory two-stop for the 50% race. We are keeping the two-stop, mandatory two-stop at one half racing. Usual one half racing point system for 50% race, um, which is um, uh, three, two, one point. Uh, I think it's first, second and third for a 25% race. Three points for first, second, two points for second, one point for third. And if you want to take part, you have to pay £2.50 entry free, which I think is good. And the winner of uh, the whole tournament, as it were, will receive a £25 PSN slash Amazon voucher. So uh, um, I don't think I'm going to enter or commentate myself. We've still got decided commentators. I don't think you are going to enter either, are you? So we're going to have a nice break after this as well. But if I were you, if you still haven't entered and still thinking about it, please enter. Um, I do recommend it. It's a lot of fun. And yeah. uh, it, um, it, it's a nice way to end F1 2020 with a ban before F1 uh, uh, 2021 starts. <clears throat> it is a very good way to end uh, the season. But yeah, I, I won't be able to attend uh, both nights. So I'm not going to put myself forward for that. Although it would have been a great opportunity to end the game on an awesome note. But uh, it's going to be an awesome night anyway. I just won't be a part of it. But you can still be. So sign up and there you go. There's all the information you need. Yeah, indeed. Sign up on the website. Sign up before it sells out, basically, as well. So it'll be great to see. And uh, we'll let you enjoy the rest of your evening. I'll just like to say a, a quick thank you, actually, to everyone that's taken part this season. Also, thank you very much to our admins. Of course, we've got you as well, who was our head of me this season. We've got... Dexter, who is our steward, as well as Scorpion and White Fountain as well. Uh, without you guys, the rules basically just won't be there. So uh, thank you very much for those. We also got other management as well. We've got Connie, who's recently just joined us, who was basically shadowing um, us for the last two rounds. And he's going to have a, a role for season 18 to be decided. So uh, um, there we go. So... Uh, Thanks to Colin for uh, stepping in as well. We also had uh, Lukey. Without Lukey, we wouldn't have these amazing graphics that you see on the Pinnacle streams and obviously on Twitter as well. So thank you very much, Lukey. We obviously had a KK who is um, in charge of our Discord and making our Discord look lovely. So thank you to a KK. Cam, who's our head of stats, who has been absolutely incredible, I have to say. Thank you, Cam. We, uh, who has also helped us with the database as well and has helped us with the standings. And uh, we had Gazaman as well, who has helped us uh, quite a lot um, this season with quite a few things with the fantasy. And for those of you that are wondering, um, thank you for um, to Gaza for sorting out the fantasy this season. And we're not going to announce the fantasy yet because obviously we still got the Taz infringement and ready up penalty to sort out. So uh, we we won't be able to sort all the fantasy though. It will be announced on Twitter by the way, about that. We also had Jamie, who was our head of team. So thank you very much to him as well. And uh, we had our um, tier coordinators, which was indecisive, Gaza, AKK, uh, Luke, and also Khalifa as well, that stepped in for, P for Pinnacle as well, because we needed one uh, for the first rate onwards. So thank you very much to Khalifa for stepping in as well. So, And also to Nick as well, because without Nick, there wouldn't be any one hub. So thank you to Nick for keeping us on the straight and narrow and... Uh, to be honest, there were some weeks where I felt like I was going to die in the hole with the amount of uh, stress people put on me. So uh, Nick was the one that calmed me down. So uh, thank you very much, Nick, who was, watch who was watching. So uh, thank you very much. And that is it for the stream then. And also thank you to all of you guys for watching and all of our commentators as well. And well done to everyone that has won a prize. And we will see you next season for F1 2021. Keep an eye on Twitter for all information about season 19. If we don't know when, when, the, when the day is going to be for that, we're just going to wait until if there's any glitch for the game. Which hopefully not, but we'll see. Thank you, uh, Matt, for joining me for the whole season and tonight, of course. 
Yeah, thank you again uh, for having me. It's been a terrific season, and I'm sure next season will be even better. What a great foundation to build on, but uh, thank you for the season. And for anyone that hasn't been mentioned, thank you for the drivers, and thank you to anyone that watches the streams. It's been awesome, and I will probably see you next season. Yep, see you next season. Also, thank you to our sponsors as well. Next Level Racing, who are provided a GT Light cockpit to the winner of our giveaway, which was Johannes. 3M Sim Racing, that's provided gloves to the one with the most powerful and fastest laps. Uh, Vespertina also providing uh, uh, sponsorship for our prizes. Um, Liam RBS, who's also sponsoring the trophies. Um, ERT, that's provided... Uh, um, sponsorship to the winner of the going gets tougher one and is also providing a free entry to ERT drivers and time to print 3D that's also provided a code a 20% discount code to um, um, our lovely key rings for the track each week so uh, well done anyway thank you guys so much for watching we will see you next season enjoy your breaks I think we're going to need it <laughs> goodbye <laughs>